Peter Panda. Hello! Come on, let's go and have some fun today. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Actually, the day is almost over. I'm doing a job that can't be done in the daytime. I'm going to be an astronomer. What's an astronomer? <laughs> an astronomer studies the moon and the stars and the planets in space. <laughs> oh, thank you, Toto. There are going to be some awesome shooting stars tonight. Wow! wow. <laughs> are you ready to go? <laughs> oh, you have to stay awake, Toto. You don't want to miss the shooting stars. Stars! All right. Let's go! Oh, hi, Leo. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Look, the stars are already waiting for you. <gasps> wow! When can we see the shooting stars? Well, they're supposed to start in an hour. Aw, that means we have to wait for a long time. Yes, but there's lots more to see. We can look for planets, or see how many constellations we can find. What's a constellation? <laughs> That's the name for a group of stars. Let's see. Okay. Ah, here's Orion. It's in the shape of a hunter. You can find it by looking for the three stars in his belt. Amazing! Oh, you want to see too? There's Ursa Major. Oh, that means Great Bear. You can recognize it by the stars that are shaped like a saucepan. And that one there is <coughs> my constellation. You have your own group of stars? No, I mean, this constellation is called Leo. <laughs> oh, you look great up there, Leo. <laughs> How do we know which of the stars are going to shoot? Oh, shooting stars are not really stars. No, people just call them that because they look like stars shooting across the night sky. Then what are they? They're meteors, small pieces of space rock. Most of them are tiny, only the size of a pebble. Mm. So how can we see them from all the way down here? because when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up and glow like stars. And that's called a meteor shower. A meteor shower, cool. But they only light up for a moment, so you have to keep your eyes, your eyes open. Leo, wake up. Yeah. What? what? Oh, I wasn't asleep. No, but you nearly were, wasn't he, Toto? <laughs> I guess it's past your bedtime, huh? <laughs> Maybe the blanket and the hot chocolate have made us a little too comfortable. <laughs> we don't want to miss the meteor shower. Let's do something to keep ourselves awake. And one, and two. Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. I don't think I'm fit enough for this. C can we do something a little less energetic? How about singing a song to stay awake? Oh, yes, a good old outdoor sing-along. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how, how I, I wonder, wonder what, what you, you are. are. 
Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you... Oh no, maybe that wasn't such a good song to sing after all. Leo, wake up. Leo! 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 It's no good, Toto. He's fast asleep. If we can't think of something to wake him up, he's gonna miss the meteor shower. <gasps> a shower! That's it! Toto, where's the flask? Sorry, Leo. What? What? Is it raining? No, I threw some water over you. <laughs> Why? Was I on fire? No, we couldn't wake you, and I didn't want you to miss the shooting stars. Oh, the meteor shower. I didn't miss it, did I? Toto, you take a look. Quick, it won't last long. Wow! This is amazing! I'm so glad we saw them! It's a long time to wait up for something that's over so fast, isn't it? Yeah, but that just makes it even more special! <laughs> Thank you for waking me. I would have hated to miss the show. Sorry I had to do it that way. Well, if we ever go camping, <laughs> I know who can be in charge of putting out the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Camping! I think that's an adventure for another day, Toto. Or another night. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Today, I'm in a museum. Wow. Look, we keep all kinds of objects from a very long time ago and show them to our visitors. Like over here, we have a... Huh? Dr. Panda, have you seen Hoopa? No. He was supposed to bring us the most important piece of our show. The piece that goes here? Exactly. Here's your delivery, guys. What's in here, anyway? It doesn't say on the box. <gasps> A dinosaur. Hmm? But dinosaurs are really big. How would that ever fit inside this box? <gasps> it's broken! No, Hoopa. It's a dinosaur skeleton, and we'll have to assemble it ourselves. Oh. Oh. Well, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Gotta go. Bye, Hoopa. This must be a leg bone. Or is it the tail? I don't know, but I'm sure there are instructions. Let's empty the box. Hmm, nope. No instructions. This is terrible. We can't just show our visitors a, a pile of bones. Hold on, Richie. Maybe we can put it together ourselves. Without instructions? It doesn't hurt to try. Hmm. Ha! Ah, see? Hey! It's like a puzzle! I'm good at puzzles. And this piece must be a claw. Hmm. Only one claw? Ah! There! Uh, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. No? Oh, we're never going to get this right without the instructions. No worries, Richie. I'm sure there's something we can do. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Done! Huh? <laughs> puzzle! Done! Oh, you finished your puzzle, have you? Let me see. Oh, that's a funny horse, Toto. The head is where the tail should be. Huh? <laughs> See? 
Oh, <gasps> that's it! Richie, if we know what the dinosaur looks like, we'll have a much better idea of how to put the skeleton together. But there wasn't a picture on the box. We don't even know what this dinosaur is called. Well, we're in a museum. There must be books in the museum library that can help. I'll go get some right away. Hi, Olette. Oh, hello, Dr. Panda. What can I do for you? Do you have a book on dinosaurs? Of course. We have lots. Oh, good. We need your help. It's a dinosaur emergency. Give me all the books on dinosaurs you have, and I'll take them to the main hall. The books aren't allowed to leave this room, I'm afraid. They're very old, and it would be sad if they got lost or damaged. Aw, uh, okay. Hmm. I could use my tablet to send Richie pictures of the dinosaurs. Olette, how many books have you got? Oh. Hello? Dr. Panda, have you found any pictures of dinosaurs? Uh, yep. Quite a lot. Never mind, Dr. Panda. I've put it together. It's a... Giraffosaurus. What about the spiky bit? I thought it was a claw. Uh, it's a spiky knee, Giraffosaurus. I'll just look for a dinosaur with a long neck. Okay. Hmm, lots of dinosaurs with a long neck. Them have spiky knees. No, no, no. Richie? Dr. Panda, I realized what that spiky bit is. It's a fin. A fin? Yes, like a shark's fin, but for a dinosaur. Oh, okay. I'll look for a picture that looks like this. of swimming dinosaurs with a long neck, but none of them have a tiny shark fin. Dr. Panda, I've got it now. See, I made a mistake. The neck bones were actually tail bones. It's a T-Rex. <gasps> so where does the spiky bone go? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's a tooth. <laughs> There! Oh, all done! <laughs> Hoopa, have you found the instructions? Better than that, Richie. I was driving my truck, and I heard a rattling sound. And then I looked, and I found... more bones! Ah! No! I told everyone about the dinosaur. They can't wait to see it. Have fun putting it together. Bye! Bad, bad. Oh, Dr. Panda, we'll never get this right. Don't give up, Richie. I'll keep looking in these books. Hmm. Now, what is that spiky bone? Oh, that's it! We'll never know what this dinosaur is called. No, Richie! <laughs> Look! <gasps> That spiky bone is its nose! What's it called? Welcome, everyone, to the unveiling of our new Centrosaurus! Whoa. Oh, yes! Whoa. A Centrosaurus! Whoa! It's awesome! That's impressive! It sure is! Wow! What an amazing animal! Have you finished your puzzle yet, Toto? <laughs> horsey! Horsey! Aw, you want to play horsey, huh? Well, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Dr. Panda. Hi, Dr. Panda. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi, everyone. Well, I'm surrounded by books. Can you guess where I am? <laughs> You're in a library. Yep. Today, I'm taking in and lending out books. That's the cool thing about libraries. We all share. <laughs> Hi, Toto. Have you found something you like? <laughs> Story. Okay. Nobody needs my help right now. 
Shall I read this to you? Yay! Here we go. <clears throat> in a small house in a big city lives a boy whose mom and dad are so poor they can hardly afford food. <gasps> One day, the boy finds a map to a secret treasure. Mm. It's buried where an X marks the spot in a deep, dark forest in a strange land filled with mysterious creatures. To get there, our hero has to find a way to cross a wide river. <clears throat> Sorry to bother you, Dr. Pander, but can I take this book out, please? Ah, oh, sure, Moo. I found this book with new cake recipes. I can't wait to try them. Mm. Oh, they look delicious. If the cakes turn out nicely, I might bring some for you later. That'd be awesome. Happy baking, Moo. Thank you. Enjoy your story, Toto. Okay, let's find out how our hero is... Huh? Wh where's our book gone? Story? Mm, do you want to find another one? Story. Mm, maybe... Oh! Maybe our hero finds a boat to cross the river. <laughs> <laughs> the river is fast and wild, and our little hero has to hang on tight. <laughs> Look out for that rock! <laughs> Phew! Safely on dry land! Now, the little hero is in a strange land. Who knows what creatures he may encounter? Ahem! <clears throat> I've been waiting for help for quite a while now. Oh, Olette! Hi! Uh-oh! Uh a grumpy ogre! What? The ogre stands between our hero and his quest for the treasure. Oh, uh, yes, uh, I'm a big scary ogre. <coughs> Who dares set foot on my land? Oh no! Will the ogre make the hero into soup and gobble him up? I'd prefer a fruit salad. Our brave hero isn't scared. He says, why don't we look for the treasure together and share it? Hmm. Very well. This way. <laughs> oh, no. There are huge boulders blocking our hero's path. Good thing the ogre is strong enough to clear them out of the way. <laughs> upon a ginormous snoring troll. If the troll wakes up, he'll demand we pay him to go through his forest. <laughs> Oops. What do you want? Our hero is on a quest for treasure, but he's lost his map. Ah. Well, uh, to pass through here, you'll have to pay me. Oh. Uh, the hero has no money, but if you will help find the treasure, you too can take a share. Uh, okay, I'm in. They go deeper and deeper toward the heart of the dark forest. So, how do we find the treasure? Uh, the treasure is buried where an X marks the spot. <gasps> Up there! Ha, ha, ha. 
It must be around here somewhere. The troll and the ogre have definitely earned their share of the treasure. And so has the storyteller. That was fun. But I wonder what happened to the real storybook. Uh, sorry. Uh, I wanted to read it, so I took it. <laughs> it was kind of boring anyway. I fell asleep. Your story was so much better. Oh, maybe you ought to be a writer, Dr. Pander. <laughs> I think that's an adventure for another day. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda.